A special treat is planned for the household today. The ladies are to make vanilla ice cream for Mary Randolph's 1824 cookbook entitled The Virginia Housewife. This publication is considered America's first regional cookbook with a focus on truly Southern dishes. An instant literary success, it was reprinted at least 19 times prior to the Civil War. Mrs. Randolph's cookbook contains several receipts for creams, as well as some instructions on how to make them. Firstly, supplies need to be amassed. Dried vanilla beans were purchased yesterday from Pogue's store in Lower Town, and the eggs gathered fresh this morning. And one very energetic teenager is sent to fetch cream before she can cause too much mischief in the kitchen. The cream is stored in the cellar, where it's kept cool to prevent spoilage until it is needed. Prior to the invention of ice boxes or refrigerators, Cellars, wells, and ice houses were often the only means of cold storage. The ladies review the receipt to be sure they have all that is required at hand. Although this receipt only calls for four ingredients, economy was practiced in all things to prevent waste and unnecessary expense. It appears, in their eagerness to be of assistance in the kitchen, the two sisters have developed a bit of a rivalry as to who should be the more favored helper. A quart of cream is added to the cookpot along with one vanilla bean. This mixture is brought to a slow boil to prevent scalding, then continued in such a manner until the vanilla flavor is noticeable when tasted. Once sufficient flavor is achieved, the cream is removed from the fire and the vanilla bean discarded. The receipt calls for the yolks and whites of eight eggs to be beaten well, then added to the vanilla cream. A small amount of the boiled cream is slowly incorporated into the beaten eggs to temper them before adding all to the cook pot. This should help prevent any scrambling of the eggs during the remaining cooking process. The cook pot is returned to the fire to boil a little longer and thicken the mixture. It's important to attend it frequently to prevent burning. While it continues to cook, cleanup begins. The sisters are tasked with preparing what is necessary to churn the ice cream outside. A large shade tree on the front lawn provides the perfect respite for the time-consuming work of churning. The equipment needed is minimal. A rug for setting upon, if desired, a large bucket, a sabatier, a long-handled spoon, ice, and salt. Unfortunately, there isn't an ice house on the property, so one of the girls will need to visit a neighbor to acquire the ice needed for the freezing process. Now that the mixture has thickened, it is removed from the fire. The final ingredient added is one cup of sugar. The receipt calls for making it very sweet for much of the sugar is lost in the operation of freezing. It is best to add the sugar while the liquid is warm to help it dissolve completely. 
It should be allowed to cool before the freezing process begins. The timely arrival of ice allows the sisters to finish preparing the containers before the ice cream mixture is added. A sabatier holds the cream during the freezing process. It is placed in the center of a bucket large enough to allow three to four inches of alternating layers of ice and salt packed around all the way to the top. Salt is essential in this step as it lowers the temperature needed to freeze the ice cream. Once the ice cream mixture has cooled, it can be strained through a sieve and cheesecloth to remove any lumps that may have formed. The mixture is added to the sabatier and churned by hand for approximately 10 minutes. The buckets are then covered and allowed to set for another 10 minutes. Ice cream begins to form along the sides of the sabatier, which are scraped before churning resumes for another 10 minutes. The buckets are once again covered and allowed to set for 10 minutes before scraping the ice cream from the sides. Each of these steps are repeated until the entire mixture has frozen. It will take some time before ice cream is achieved. After much work and anticipation, the ice cream is finally ready to enjoy, much to everyone's excitement. It's a perfect treat for a hot day in Southern Illinois.
All right, just go, just go, keep going. <laughs> oh, damn it, I found you. I hate that. Shadow, shadow. Sorry, you guys, I got a Like a little cat. I love it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> At the end of the day, when you just don't care anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs>